Hey readers, this is a review of Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe by Jenny Golden. This book is the book that I started reading on my way home from Croatia and I finished it in England while I was away in London. Um, this is a really good book. When I picked up this book I was like, this is a girly girly book because it's pink and it's cupcakes. Yay! But I actually think that guys could read this and actually enjoy it. Jenny writes this book from a lot of different people's perspectives. The main perspective, of course, being the one of Izzy, or Izzy Randall, who is the main person in this book. She is the girl who founds and opens Cupcake Cafe after she got fired from her job. She gets fired like in the first 20 pages, I think. This is not a bunch of giveaway, and it says on the back as well. She's made redundant, so that's why she starts. She decides to do what she wants to do and open a uh, cafe that sells cupcakes. I'm talking too fast, I'm gonna slow down. Like, even if the book is from Izzy's perspective, there are glimpses in the book that are like from others, other people's perspectives. It's not like you get one chapter in their perspective and then one chapter in Izzy's perspective and then it changes. No, it's like more or less, it's just Izzy all the way through and then there are pieces inside, like paragraphs inside the different chapters that are from other people. So we have Izzy's roommate Helena, who is a nurse, uh, that we get to hear a lot from. Uh, there is a guy called Graham, who is her old boss, who she was romantically in a relationship with, who turns out to be jerk, but we get to hear a, lot, a little bit from him as well. There is Austin, who is the banking advisor, I think is the right title for him, uh, who grants Izzy her loan, basically. We have a girl called Pearl, who is the first, like, worker that Izzy brings into the uh, Cupcake Cafe world. And then there are small parts from, like, people she meets along the way. Like, there's a girl called Caroline who wants, uh, who is interested in having like the the store that Izzy wants to open the cafe, she's interested in that store as well. You get to get like a little, the beginning, you get like, ooh, something about Caroline, and then it gets taken away from you, and you're like, me, I want to know more, I want to know more, I want to know more, and then Caroline ends up coming back to the store, and one thing leads to another, and you actually get a lot from Caroline, uh, which is pretty cool. So I really, really like that, about the way that Jenny wrote this story, that you get to find out a lot about these characters, and it kind of made it more real, I guess. Jenny's way of writing is amazing. It is, I thought it was going to be super girly, but it isn't. It is, as I said, I think a guy would be able to appreciate this book a lot. So, Theta Sigma, read this book, because I know that it's on your to-read list. I'm pretty sure I gave it a 5 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads, and if I didn't, I'm gonna go and change that, because I really like this book. It was thick. The writing, oh god, the style of writing inside this book was also really, really nice. What I really, really liked is that every chapter, like the beginning of every chapter, now I'm just gonna have to find the beginning of a chapter. This is chapter 12, and the beginning of every chapter starts off with a recipe. So it's a recipe for a cake or a cupcake or anything that is fitting to that chapter. It's really really cute and I actually feel tempted to bake throughout the entire book, so yay for that! Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe is a great book, I really enjoyed all the characters, I enjoyed Jenny Colgan's style of writing, I'm going to be looking into reading a lot more from her because I genuinely enjoyed her way of her style of writing and I really like that it is everything it's set in England and it's not set in America which was really cool for me because I was in London when I was reading it and um, on my way to like where we worked, we worked at the North Greenwich Arena or the O2 uh, and on the tube station to go from London Bridge to North Greenwich you had to go past Canary Wharf and there was actually a part in this book where she goes to Canary Wharf and I thought that was really cool because it was like she's in the book at a place where I go past every day to go to work so I thought that was really cool. Um, 
and it made it as I said a lot more alive for me at least till next time keep reading bye